powered paragliding. It's kind of like skydiving with a motor on your back. Because you can take off wherever you want and fly anywhere you want to go. It's the coolest thing you'll ever do in your lifetime. It's freaking awesome. My name's Del Shanzi, and uh, I am a powered paraglider instructor, master pilot, coolest guy on the planet. What can I say? <laughs> I get into pretty much everything. When I get into something, I'm hardcore. I go all the way. I used to race motorcycles, uh, ride the tires off them things, uh, until I broke 11 vertebrae, broke my hip off, that's bolted on, hands bolted together, lost the finger, and then I switched to powered paragliding. When I got into powered paragliding, it was kind of back in the beginning of the sport where the equipment was very low end, kind of built in the garage. Also, it was, it was just like a backyard flying machine, looked like it was built by Farmer Joe. So you had a lot of injuries and deaths happening in the sport. So I went and I had to develop something to just eliminate all of those issues. I'm uh, soldering the wires onto the kill switch with the throttle. The throttle was a big development. Um, I completely designed it from scratch because uh, a lot of them are using a bicycle brake throttle, big lever out on the front that they're using for a throttle. People would trip and fall down and they'd land on the throttle and end up with the motor full throttle on their back. Next I had to come up with an engine because since you're wearing it on your back it has to be very lightweight but we also need a lot of power and of course it's an aircraft so it has to be very reliable. So I've been searching the entire planet all over the world for the lightest, most powerful, and most reliable engine. This is the motor that we use. Uh, it's unique in that it's the best motor out there. It has a tremendous pound to power ratio. It only weighs 28 pounds. It's 30 horsepower. So it is light and powerful. The next thing I needed to address was the spine injury. So that was a big thing I also addressed by developing 16 to 18 inches of crumple zone under your butt, you had about 16 inches of impact protection. So even if you had a full stall into the ground, you could walk away without a scratch with this particular unit. It's your own personal backpack aircraft. You take with you everywhere you go because it packs down the size of an extra large suitcase. One minute, 54 seconds. Now that's fast. But you can take off from anywhere fly pretty much anywhere, even take passengers and fly tandem. All right, gear shiver it. What an awesome day. Yeah, I can't wait to see you up there. All righty, Del, what do you think your altitude is right now? I'm only about 600 feet, I'm not that high. Scott, yeah, you ready to start getting jiggy? All righty, Del, let's go ahead and see a switchy set. Uh, yeah. So, uh, why don't you come down with some style? Man, you are one crazy pilot. You want to come and foot drag around the barn again? Cool, you want to conquer some more altitude and uh, let's do some more wing overs. <laughs> That's freaking awesome! Alright, you want to come in for a landing? Alright, coming in. I'm going to come in right next to the trees and put it down the same way I took off. Yeah! I've landed on the top of very high mountains on camping in little meadows, clear out in remote places almost no one can access. Uh, I've gone to the Bahamas with it and flown from island to island. There's unlimited uses for your own personal aircraft. Flying is the coolest thing in the world. I think everyone should be able to fly. 